Hello, 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 and welcome back to the channel. The name is Chev, also known as the Furious Chicken, and I'm so glad you're back because today I want to give you an updated version of my tutorial last time on how to not lose in the Bronze League and get to the Silver League ASAP. Now, this video today will teach you a couple of things. One, what card is the rent, how much they will be. And second, how you use them so you get to win as much games as you can and get to silver right away. Good? Let's start. Now, it's totally important to understand that this, this lineup and this strategy will only work if you are on bronze 3. It can still work on bronze 2 and bronze 1, but it's possible that you get to lose multiple times. Alright? The biggest difference is that on bronze 3, Everything is on standard rule set. So there's no band colors, there's no rules like earthquake, poison, and everything else in between, all right? Those are too much variables that you have to consider when you're using different kinds of lineups. The lineup that I'm proposing to you right now will only work on bronze 3. This is strictly it is strictly a strategy for getting you to 1000 rating so you can start on silver right away. Okay, That's, that disclaimer is done. Let's continue. Now, what cards do we need? For this one, I'm operating on a 15 DEC or less rent. Okay, and these are the cards that I rented. As you can see, I'm already done grinding for this account. It's one of my alt accounts and it's already at 1000 rating. Now, this account started at 500 rating because I rented silver 3 at the end of the season. Though this strategy will still work even if you start at zero rating. All you have to do is play twice as much games. The cards that you need are these. It's focusing on the Earth Splinter. Um, ignore that Kelia. I rented it by mistake. But these are the only cards that you need. These seven, I think, eight cards. All right. Now the most important one is Myler Crowling. Myler Crowling's ability Thorns will win you most games on its own. Actually, it is the necessary card that you need to win everything in this league. It is only about 4 DC to rent, super cheap right now. So get that first, that's 4 DC. Actually let's pull up a calculator so you can see how much. Myler is about 4 DC. Okay. There we go. Now, the second most important card in this lineup is actually the Mushroom Seer. This Mushroom Seer's ability is Silence. And the biggest weakness of this lineup is Magic. Because Myler can take care of melee and Magic, not much. So Silence, especially Obsidian's lineup, the new Earth Magic lineup, uh, Mushroom Seer takes care of that right away. It allows your team to at least... Um, Endure the first two rounds of magic hits from your opponents as you destroy your opponent's melee tank. Mushroom Seer is about 4 to 5 DEC to rent. Let's just put it down to 5 DEC. So that would be 9 DEC so far. Now, the sustains. The sustains that you need for this account would be the Wood Nymph, of course. Now, you might ask, we already have a healer free for green, the Goblin Psychic. But... I'm not really a big fan of Goblin Psychic because it is 6 mana to deploy and that 2 extra mana from Wood Nymphs 4 can do a lot for you. You can drop a failed summoner as an additional tank and drop 2-1 to 1 to one drops because this, uh, this lineup requires you to have multiple bodies to keep on taking hits from your opponents to keep on dishing that thorns damage. So that Wood Nymph, I mean super cheap, it's not even 0.2 or 0.3. So let's add that. Okay, now Earth Elemental. I rent the Earth Elemental for that extra backline support. You see, this lineup is. It's important for this lineup to make sure that the healer is safe. You want to make sure your 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 bodies, your your monsters, stay alive. 
um the entire the entire match i mean this as much damage as they can through thorns and the only way to do that is to keep them alive for multiple rounds wood nymph is the reason that happens but if they have sneakers they will be able to kill wood nymph right away so it's necessary for you to have a strong high hp backline like earth element um it's it was free before chaos legion but it's not anymore so you have to rent it it's it's just 0.3 or 0.4 to rent so it's super cheap we're gonna add that so we're not even 10 dec yet and the entire core of our lineup is already complete now aside from those you want to make sure that you have additional body as what i mentioned earlier and this is where these three cards comes in nor the sandworm now these three cards are cheap easily deployable card that you can use to take as much melee damage uh, from your opponent while dishing out thorns uh fungus fiend is super cheap to rent it's not even 2 dec 3 D dec sometimes so maybe we can add that here so that's 12.7 dec so far and the creeping ooze that's super cheap as well just 0.2 or 0.3 let's add 0.3 and then the furious chicken now this one is a problem you know as my namesake furious chicken uh this is one of my favorite cards because it allows you to just drop a body that can protect your backline anytime you want as long as you have an open slot the problem is that it's quite expensive right now and the price is is a range way way um the the price range is like too big like sometimes you can get a furious chicken for 2 dec sometimes it has to be 10 dec so uh normally i don't rent it if it's more than 5 dec but the maximum is around 5 dec if you can get it for 2 dec that's fine but let's just drop in five so we're at 18 dec now and creeping use we already added that now the sandworm um i don't i often don't use the sandworm but uh, sometimes, you know, you get those 99 mana match matchup and you just want to make sure that you have as much uh, damage as you can add that can maximize your mana pool. So I just put in the Sandworm as an additional body to just hit their backline with that sweet 5 damage. And plus it's just 0.1 DEC to rent, so it's not even a non pack So far, in total, we only need 18 DEC to rent uh, for this lineup that's everything that we need actually at least the rent now the question is which cards do we partner them with now i'm gonna show them to you on our second uh, on the second part of this video which would be how to use these cards let's jump right in um this is what happened on this account i believe my record for this account was 15 one uh, so i lost once and then won all other lineups and uh, yeah that's the reason why i lost because they have a Jin Oshanos. so i think it could be my fault but anyway let's let's go ahead and check them out um, as you can see everything from here 16 hours ago it's all wins from 500 dec except that one let me show you some of the matches and break it down to you so you can uh you you have an idea on how to play these cards First off, this one. We're against uh, Thaddeus Brood. So, as you know, Thaddeus Brood's most common tank is the Curse Windiku because, you know, it's super strong. It has thorns, it's a mini Mylor. Plus, they add the sneakers and snipers, so you get they get to deal uh, they get to deal damage to your backline while they're keeping your tank at bay with their Curse Windiku. Now, on any other lineup, this would be super strong on their part, but we have a better lineup as you can see uh, even if they have sneakers this is where earth elemental shines our earth elemental will be able to take care of those melee monsters and this sniper will be taken care of by failed summoner so let's focus on these two cards that i want to highlight right now that is free you don't have to rent them the most common tank that we will be using for this lineup is unicorn mustang as what i mentioned this lineup takes care of all melee lineup right away because of uh, because of Mylar. So if your opponent has magic uh, hitters, Unicorn Mustang would be super strong to keep them all at bay because it has that void ability. Not only that, it has super high speed and 3 damage for bronze which is a lot. 
so it gets to take care of your opponents right away as you can see this lineup's main damage would be coming from the tank all you have to do is to sustain it let me show you another match and maybe teach you another lineup mm, how about this so right now we're matched up with the dragon summoner i assume they want that plus one uh, armor because blue the water team has been you know quite getting a resurgence right now because of kelia and they want to mitigate as much melee damage as they can now as you can see the main difference in this lineup is that i am using a uh, failed summoner as a tank because this is only 14 mana cap i won't be able to use my eight mana tank the unicorn mustang but you don't have to worry about that you have enough bodies to use now this is actually where earth elemental again shines in tandem with failed summoner as you can see this lineup's main tank is the failed summoner this will allow earth elemental to keep on hitting your opponent while the failed summoner is still alive uh, the question is why did i put the earth elemental in the front line instead of the back once failed summoner dies uh, of course my earth elemental won't be able to hit anymore because it is in the front line well the thing is as what i mentioned miler is the main win condition of this lineup so the ability to tank more hits is way more important in using earth elemental than that one range damage um that's why you want it there and the reason why you are allowed to do this kind of lineup is because of these two cards um especially the chicken this allows you to this allows you to protect your backline wood nymph with two zero monster a uh, zero mana cost monsters now sometimes it's just 12 mana cup and i use the same lineup only thing i do is to remove the Khmer princess and then put in the the fiend at the back so you get two bodies to protect that wood nymph on you know from enemy sneak sneakers let me show you another lineup um okay against this magic people okay, here it is now let me show you why it is necessary for you for you to have the mushrooms here um, as you can see the opponent has the same plan they want that unicorn mustang as their tank main difference is that their damage they plan is coming from these magic people and they even uh, have the same strategy using wood nymph as their healer instead of um the goblin psychic that way they can use that spare two mana to drop a mare princess and get that additional magic damage from the obsidian the biggest factor for this would be this mushroom seer as you can see these line these people these two cards wood nymph and chimera princess would have two damage that means uh even if mustang has void they will be able to deal one damage to Ma mustang each turn because even if even if uh, mustang halves the damage of these two if they have two magic damage they still get to deal one but if they only have one damage they will deal zero that is where Mushroom Seer comes in. It lowers all monsters magic damage by one from your opponent's side. That way, Mushroom a uh, Unicorn Mustang will be able to sustain the damage coming from these magic monsters and that Wood Nymph would be able to sustain the melee damage coming from your opponent's Unicorn Mustang. Uh, it will just be a battle of attrition by this point. And because we have better damage than them, we will be able to outpace them when it comes to damage output you can see they're trying their best to deal damage with these magic people but there's nothing they can do really and once their tank dies it's just all downhill from there for them so keep this in mind if you know that your opponents would be using the unicorn mustang it is i mean the the obsidian lineup it is necessary for you to have that mushroom here in your life okay um hope i can show you something else different we have a 99 mana cup okay let me let me show you this one this time they're using a mother kala uh, i believe this is a ranged lineup uh, they, 
Yeah, it is. So, I guess their plan is to deal as much damage as they can in our backline using these three cards. Or, I mean, using Pelacor Arbalest while tanking a melee attack from Kelia. As what I mentioned, Kelia is one of the most popular right now on Bronze. The Water Summoner with Opportunity. What they did not anticipate is that we will be using all magic lineup, so it ignores that Truth Speaker armor. It, normally, it would be a problem for us because that Pelicor Arbalist double strike will be enough to destroy our Unicorn Mustang. Luckily, we have this Wood Nymph that can at least mitigate some damage up until we get to kill all of their lineups and render that Pelicor Arbalest, Ar Arbalest useless once it gets to the front line. Um, as you can see, if we didn't have mushrooms here, here uh, we wouldn't have any damage output coming from the backline to destroy all of their tanks. By this point, the only thing that we need to do is to destroy their tanks. That is the main weakness of the ranged lineup. The ranged lineup is super strong when it comes to dealing damage because all of them hit from the backline. But once you destroy their tank, there's nothing that they can really do anymore. And this is the main reason why you would want to play on Bronze 3 while doing this run. On Bronze 3, there's no rules, only standard. So there's no um, close range combat that range, range lineups normally take advantage of. So that's normally what I do, take advantage of that um, lineup that I mentioned earlier. Uh, let me show you that, that the cards that I rented again and then highlight the cards that you'll be using from the free uh, a free starter deck these cards are what you need rent them you can get them in less than 18 dc sometimes 15 dc even uh, and then take advantage of the unicorn mustang tank the failed summoner as well as a second line tank a backup um Khmer damage if you have that two extra mana protect the wood name from the back with earth elemental and with your zero uh mana fiends and take advantage of your bronze uh, battles so you can get the silver right away. Yeah, I hope this one helped a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know. If you want me to do a silver league grind uh, rental list, maybe a guide on what you can rent and how to use them on silver, please drop it in the comment below. And please do subscribe if you're interested in the way I do uh, tutorials so I you can get notified with new tutorials that I make That's it for me for today again. This name. Uh, my name is Chev also known as the furious chicken and I'll be back with another one real soon. Goodbye